Hello everyone, I'm Alex and today we are watching Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest! On the 7th of the 7th 2024, Fairy Tale is finally here! I have literally grew up with this anime. I've learned so much from it. Fairy Tale's guild was my friends. Their allies were my allies. Their enemies were my enemies. And I'm always so hyped up when it comes to fairy tales. I'm just so really thankful that I was born in 21st century. I think the fairy tale was on episode 15 when I saw it first. I remember eating pizza at the time that my mom bought me. And I was like, wow. And it just became my friends. And then all my life I was searching for people like in fairy tale, you know for those kind of friendships and emotions, adventure, bravery, all of that. Ah. And definitely next year I'm going to purchase a cosplay of Erza Scarlet and I'm going to make my own weapon from Erza Scarlet Arsenal. I know one of her spears. Also, I'm not quite sure yet, but it's going to be epic so I'll definitely post it on my Instagram. But back to the topic. 100 years quest is here. Quest so difficult that Gildas wasn't able to fulfill its requirements. In fact, he failed and almost Almost lost his life alongside some of his limbs. Pretty scary, right? Nevertheless, we've got our favorite heroes on the way to fulfill the quest. And however difficult and scary it might be, I'm sure that they are going to defeat it with the power of friendship. Also, if you are new to this channel, subscribe to give it a chance to grow and help me meet more like-minded people. You can also leave a like, that always helps. And now, without further ado, let's get on with this episode. 600 33. That's some time ago. I believe we're on year 784 now, aren't we? Over 100 years ago. Magnolia in the cathedral. Gosh, I almost feel tears pouring into my eyes. And the music! That folklore music! Oh, please, can I be one of them? <laughs> oh! <laughs> they beat you up! <laughs> oh, let me! <laughs> Come on, Kana, one of them is a child. <laughs> And you grow up a little bit. Hello? What is this guy even doing there? Ugh. How dare he? Somebody kick him out from fairy tale? <laughs> Fantastic, well done. <laughs> oh my god, what an entrance. Absolutely badass. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't his fault, really. <laughs> Is she a noble? She speaks like a noble. Chuvia. But Grace always does it. Can you hear my gears turning? On the fire dragon? What world do you live in? Do you even know Natsu? Or perhaps she just has a very wild imagination. But still. That's the music, that's the fairy tale music! <laughs> the first guild and the strongest guild. Wow. Continent. Oh, right. 
Interesting. I didn't realize that it was on a different continent. How fully friendly we once. Oh my god, they totally ignored policy. ヒマまで誰一人として達成したことがない伝説の依頼。ペアリーテイル最強の魔導士、ギルダーツでさ。100年クエストってどんな内容なんだ。それ、いつも楽しんできな。It's <laughs> I'm going for the power of friendship. <laughs> I know that so. <laughs> I know. The whole guild will get destroyed again. <laughs> Gosh, how much I remember so little of tears in my eyes. Oh. <sighs> Wow. I must be alive on a different continent. Dragon of Law. Wow. <laughs> Even he's surprised that Natsu could tell. A very powerful wizard, though. So you are over 100 years old? How is this possible? Hopefully in a good sense. One dragon in particular. <gasps> no! <laughs> Not so! That's so inappropriate, oh my god! <laughs> right, right, I see. Wait. Exactly. That is true, actually. Well, just like Natsu said, they are not alone. The strongest fairy tale steam! <laughs> なんでって。そりゃ仕事行けばここにいなくていいんだけど。行きましょう、仕事へ。仕事内容はクレイ様を命がけてもらうこと。大人は準備やです。そして準備屋がその仕事を受けます。よ、そんなリディクルスアローバ
百年クエストの内容を他言しないこと、そしてこの仕事中に命を落としても、依頼主及び魔法協議員は一切の責任を取らん。わお。上等だ。Wow, I l l totally accepting responsibility. <laughs> Honestly, like, I totally get to. I so can relate. Like, I'm terrified. Reunion? If it's reunion for Lucy, then that must be reunion with Aquarius. That's why the Aquarius broke in keys there. And she knows it. Yes. I don't know what to tell you, but this is not going to be easy. Of course you are. That's why I know Akunologia or Tausta Monodis. The thing is, when he defeated Akunologia, he had powers of all of the, the dragon slayers. But why must they defeat those、um, dragon gods? It must be real evil, right? Or maybe not all of them. Why are these weird things, right? <laughs> oh my god, Mashima, you're doing this again. It's always Lucy. <laughs> Why are you laughing at her? It's not happening. <laughs> It's karma, not so. It's what it is. <laughs> Something else. <laughs> A flying fish. Where did I see it before? Right. So that's what we saw at the beginning. They are evil. Mercophobia. Water, water god? By the water? Cool. No way. One wish per person? Or one wish as general, in general? She wants Aquarius to come back. But can he really grant it if he cannot defeat? 
dragon gold. Really? I had no idea you always wanted one. Oh. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. <sighs> I bet for happy it'll be mountain of fish. Ooh! Now that looks gorgeous! There we go. Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. Because he is going investigation! Just like old times. やつ<笑><笑><笑> A guy with horns. What their god? Wow, he's already there and he knows about them. So there it is, element of surprise, gone. <laughs> well, obviously a water god in charge of the water city, a port, would know of a presence of anyone entering his territory, right? Oh, it's so good to see them again. And Erza carrying all of this luggage on the card, it so makes sense because it's not because she's like, oh, Lord's wearing dresses and heels, no. It's all of her equipment stored in there because she's literally going to a different continent. So it's not easy to call upon all of her equipment and armor and weapons when they don't do any different equipment. I bet that will take some time and cost a lot of magic, which Erza really cannot afford, especially if she wants to use the Nakagami armor for it as an example. Although I'm sure she has even more powerful one, but yeah. <laughs> That's a good episode. Like, I'm so humbled that I can be here reacting to this anime. Like, you know, when I was a kid, I would never ever think that I'd be a YouTuber. Obviously, like, I would always admire people on YouTube making videos and stuff. But I'm like, literally, in a matter of days, I'm getting myself a new microphone. So it's gonna be like a super experienced microphone on, on the arm. I sound like a proper YouTuber. So I, like, I really can't wait for that. One more week till the next episode but we will wait because there will be some action i'm sure of it and it's just like what i absolutely love about mashima is that this anime obviously is it can be serious it's quite colorful and beautiful but also has these comedy moments where you just literally cry laughing because when you watch a fairy tale you can't help but smile right it's what this anime does to you it brings up so many emotions it makes you want to like i was literally just a few hours ago i was watching a recap of all the fairy tale timeline because I haven't watched fairy tale for a few years so I wanted to remind myself exactly what happened when and all the terminology and timeline etc etc and during the recap which lasted three hours I have literally cried so many times because there were some moments that are so relatable and just breaking your heart honestly if you want um let me know in the comment and I will send you the link to one of the youtubers that does amazing fairy tale recap he has such a vast knowledge obviously it's over three hours you can find it in a shorter version but it's so worth it just a quick reminder of all this amazing stuff um, of all these amazing adventures our favorite characters went on and let's not forget when we met fairy tale members they were nine years younger than they are now so for example lucy currently in this year is 17 and erza's color is 19 so they all kind of grew up with us but obviously they grew up much slower than us because the release of the anime season wasn't like consistent obviously because manga takes time it takes time for Hiramashima to produce the manga chapters so we had breaks here and there but yeah it was great I'm really happy that I could record it for you guys I hope you're gonna subscribe to my channel for more fairy tale videos if you would like to see my videos early release 
I uh, have my Patreon link down below where you can watch Uncut and full past the videos as well as Patreon exclusive titles just for Patreon only. You can count on me that Fairy Tale will be released on my channel every week and I'll be as excited as I am now. It's just such a joy to see all these characters again. Have a fantastic week and see you in my next video.